Hi there ladies, I'm back with part two of the um, the flag tutorial. So I have just had this beautiful lace um, given to me in the post, which I'm really pleased about. And I'm going to just quickly, um, there's going to have to be a part three to this video because there is no way in the world that I, you know, I can decorate it properly for you in just two videos because I'm a pretty slow crafter. So I just, you know, I'm going to use that gorgeous lace that you've just seen. I bought that on eBay and it just arrived and the postman just delivered it through my door and I just got to it before my little chihuahua um, nearly grabbed it. So that would have been terrible. Okay, so I've just added some lace at the bottom and I'm just about to use my scissors and snip off this lovely uh, flock. Is it like a flock dotted um, tulul? And I'm just going to kind of make it uh, look a bit neater. I don't really like neat sewing or neat anything, but um, when I'm crafting it has to be a bit, you know, a little bit disorganised. When uh, I really like mixed media. I love mixed media. It's just a lovely um, theme, I think, so I'm kind of always going for the mixed media flags. Now, I hope you got the gist of that. Puddles, stop it. Stop it, good girl. Sorry, she's she's trying to jump on, on me with her ball. Um, okay, so I hope you got the gist of the bobbin method. It's, uh, you know, just, uh, I, d I really do, because it's um, it's fun to use. I know that all the, the ladies that I've known for a long time here on YouTube, they know what I'm, I mean. And um, But for the new ladies, it's, you know, if, if you've got the idea, well, just give it a try. You can use wool in a normal sewing machine. You can use just about any type of thread, as long as it's not too heavy. If it's light and it goes through, that's fine. So I'm just showing you what I've done here with the um, the bottom bit. So I'm just starting to build my mixed media always a bit hard to decide what to put on projects especially when you're doing a tutorial and when you're at home and you're just doing it for yourself as in you know um, it's always a bit harder to do a tutorial I think because you don't quite know what to put on to your um, project basically and you, you keep people waiting but I'm just going to show you some of these lovely things that I've got and the other two I actually made out of scraps so you know, I love using up scraps. I, I never waste anything. Um, my husband picked up a one-inch piece of, oh, I think it was sour salt the other day, and he said, do you want this? And I said, yes. <laughs> he thinks I'm completely crazy, but I don't I don't like to throw away um, anything in the way of um, materials or sour silk or anything. There's always a use for it, isn't there? Deciding what to put on to the flag. Um, so I'm going to, my glue gun is um, it's not a pretty pink one it's just a quite a heavy duty um, kind of a glue gun but it does a great job it, you know it's completely clear is the glue so it doesn't show and that's the most important thing I would probably sew this on if uh, you know it, I would I would normally sew this on but I'm just gonna you know use the glue gun really um, and decide what I'm going to put where I'm just going to change the subject for a minute while I'm figuring out what I'm going to put on here. I don't know with, whether any of you ladies are interested in crime, but I have been following... Oh, gosh, I, I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, my goodness, please don't mention that. But the Chris Watts case, has anybody seen that? It's a um, it's a terrible case in happened in Colorado, and um, I've been watching it and following it for months now, and it's so sad. So if you... Um, you know, if you like crime, look up the Chris Watts case, but be prepared for a hell of a bumpy ride along the way because it's just, it's very sad. Anyway, that's that's what I watch. It's a lot of crime. I I enjoy um, American crime, and I watch quite a lot of it. My husband doesn't like crime. He likes antique shows. So we do say to each other, like he'll say, do not put any crime on, and I'll say... You know, when I come in, do not put any antique shows on. So we kind of split it down the middle and share, you know, share our TV viewing. So, but he, I must admit, he's, I've always got the crime programs on. But yeah, the Chris Watts case, oh, just unbelievable what that man did. Unbelievable. 
So if you know what I'm talking about, just leave a comment below. But um, if you're into the crime as well. So, okay. Um, this is Sari Silk that I'm using, and it's a lovely kind of a sea green colour. Like a, you know, a, a beachy, sort of a washed out looking greeny colour. Really pretty. So I'm just going to push that in there with my hot glue there. And um, I got a really bad burn about four weeks ago, and it's just healing up now on my finger. Oh, it's awful. I'm always getting burned. Now you see this thread here. You could use that in your bobbin if you wanted to. It's I get it from a place in England, and it's called Yarn Yarn. And they say it's um, ethically, you know, basically it's from India. And they say that it helps the people of India if you buy the yarns and things like that. So I hope so. I hope they're not just saying that, but, you know, it would be nice to help people when you purchase your sewing things or whatever whatever you're into, you know, whatever, whatever um, whether you're into crafting, painting, whatever. It's always nice to think you're helping people. So, um, yes, this is a beautiful, uh, like a, a thread, and that is from the place called Yan Yan, which is here in the UK, and it's a very lovely place where I get all my sari silks, and you get a big bag of mixed things, and that's where I got the um, the green thread from. The sari silk I buy in, in a big roll, but um, th that green thread that I've got in my hand there, it's like a... You know, they have some really interesting stuff. So, um, okay, I might just stick with the green theme. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this on a bit because I don't want it to be, you know, too long. So I'm going to, because I'm going to add all that silk, uh, that lovely lace that I had um, shown you in the beginning of the video. So I'm going to just move this on a little bit. I'm going to speed it up just a bit. I've just made a cup of tea because I just realised I said yarn yarn twice and it was either a senior moment or a low blood sugar. So I'll put it down to the blood sugar, shall I? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, it, you know, these these little projects, I'm an incredibly slow crafter and I um, like to take my time and just, you know, this is this is why I find crafting so relaxing. You just go to such a lovely place, don't you, when you're crafting. And all your troubles and cares just melt away. So it's very therapeutic. I've been buying some flower appliques from China. And I snip off bits and pieces and things like that. So I think that flower goes really lovely with the colour scheme of the, um, you know, the flag so far. Has anybody noticed that... The stuff that you buy from China, and I know a lot of us do, is getting more expensive. It's just as expensive, some of it, or if not more, than what you can buy here in the UK. I don't know about the US, but because I don't live there, I live in the UK, but I've noticed the prices are kind of going up. And it just takes years to build up a really good stash. And I always seem to run out of lace. I don't know why, probably because I use so much. It's absolutely pouring it down and I'm just having a cup of tea because I'm doing a voiceover for this. I don't know whether you can hear the rain. There's some truck miles away, um, but it's pouring it down. It's really pretty. We needed the rain. We just, we really did. I know it's incredible to think that England needs rain, but we do. So I'm going to come back in now and close the door. Right. I love the rain. I can sleep better on a night. When it rains, so I've just closed my my door. I call it a zombie door <laughs> because I say to my husband, "Oh, the zombies are coming." Um, I love The Walking Dead. You know that I'm sure a lot of you are reeling in horror, but I really love watching The Walking Dead. I think it's a great program, and it's on Fox. And the only trouble is, it you know they only show you about five episodes, and then you have to wait a year. That so. door is so heavy and it's so big. So I, I say to my husband, no, it keeps the zombies out. And he, he said, oh, you've never grown up. So I don't think we ever do, do we? Our minds stay the same, but, you know, our bodies kind of change as we get older. And um, some lucky ladies out there, perhaps not. But I think um, there's a lot to be said for being older, I think. So I've just added um, 
a little bit more glue there because I'm going to kind of bunch that Tulul flocky flock type Tulul. I'm sure loads of you have that. It's a really nice fabric actually. So I'm going to have to do a part three now on this and I'm going to add all that lovely lace that you saw in the beginning of the video to this flag and we'll do that together tomorrow. Okay ladies, so thank you for watching and I hope you have a really lovely evening and I'll do the rest in the morning. So bye for now, much love, God bless and thank you to all the lovely ladies that have joined um, my channel. I really appreciate you. Bye.